Hi everyone, welcome to March 2020's What's New in Beauty video. In these kinds of videos, I show you things that are new on the market, whether that's skincare, makeup, beauty accessories, anything in the beauty world that is either new on the market or sometimes just new to my personal collection. I review those for you here. If it's something that I've already done full swatch and review videos for, I will give you updated reviews as I've continued to use those products. And of course, if it's not something that I featured in a video before, then I'll just give you my thoughts in this video. For things that I have done full reviews for, I always link them in the description box below and in the upper right hand corner so you can go to those videos conveniently. And also in the description box, I will always link to all the products that I talk about in this video, where you can find them, any promotional codes or discounts that I have that you can take advantage of. And of course, if you aren't already signed up for something like Rakuten, I'll have a link to that program in the description box too, so that if you are someone who does any sort of online shopping, you can automatically get cash back in your pocket just by doing the normal shopping that you otherwise would have. So if there's something that at all interests you, then make sure you keep watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel by hitting that red subscribe button and follow Allure Beauty on Instagram. I know that a lot of people are stuck at home. There's a lot of anxiety about what's going on right now in the world. A lot of people freaking out or even just kind of depressed, gloomy, having to stay inside and away from people that we love or that we would normally hang out with. So hopefully this video can just bring you some entertainment, some relaxation, take you out of uh, what's going on in the crazy world right now, just a little bit even. So let's just hang out together and look at some things that are new in the world of beauty. And I'm very happy to announce that for this month's video, we have a sponsor and that is Project E Beauty. And the product that I have been testing out and using from them is this very transportable travel friendly mirror. The name of this product is the Miro Vio and it opens up like this. And then the top, cover flips over so that you can rest the actual mirror very conveniently on your table or whatever travel surface that you have. But this isn't just a regular old flip open mirror. What's really cool about this is that it has built in LED lighting so that even if you're in a dimly lit place, a lot of times hotel rooms seem to have very odd lamp lighting or not sufficient lighting. So if it's not daytime and you don't have access to natural light, it's really Really nice to have something like this that not only is travel friendly but has the built-in lighting so that you can see what you're doing get the details get proper lighting for getting whatever color you want to have but it doesn't stop there it's not only very nicely lit with the LEDs but it depending on what kind of uh, tone you want you can control that too with this mirror so this is more like bright lighting LED lighting you can then change it to more warm toned this is more yellow lighting if you want it to mimic more outside sunlight, warmer tones, or if you wanted something that is a little more blue based, then you can change it to do that also. So hopefully you can see the difference between the first one, the second one, and the third one, all those types of lightings that you want to mimic outside, more uh, pure LED light or more um, artificial indoor lighting, any of those kinds of things, you can get that built in with this mirror. There is a switch on the back here so that you can ensure that it doesn't turn on accidentally. So if you have it in the off position, then no matter what happens, you won't be able to have that light go on and use the battery. Obviously, if you are ready to use it, you switch it to the on position and to charge this, you have have a USB port, a small USB port that you can plug into your computer or any other device that has a USB outlet on it. And finally, once you have the warmth or temperature or color setting that you prefer, you can also control how much light or how bright the light is. So that you do by pressing the power button, but just keeping it depressed so you can see that it goes from being very dim to very bright and if again you wanted to make it more dim then you keep it depressed and control the lighting that way. So you can purchase the Mirror VO on the Project E Beauty website. It is called the LED Travel Mirror. There are a total of 72 LED lights around the perimeter of the mirror. As you saw you get those three color lighting modes. The retail value is $39.99 which I 
think is very affordable for something that is so lightweight and so thin and travel friendly. On the website, you get free shipping worldwide on any order of $100 or more and the battery is supposed to last for up to two hours before you need to recharge it. So if you've been looking for a very travel-friendly, compact, lightweight, yet durable mirror that gives you control over different lighting settings and lighting strengths, then this is definitely something that you should check out. You can also see on Project Beauty's website, there are other tools and beauty devices that they sell, not just this mirror. So for example, they actually sent along one of their Derma rollers. They have a different needle lengths and strengths. So I will definitely be starting to experiment with derma rolling at home and I will give you an update on that in a separate video. They also have things like a lot of different LED devices. So definitely go check out Project eBeauty if those are the things that kind of catch your interest and you're on the market for any of those kinds of things. So thank you to Project eBeauty for sponsoring this video and let's dive into what else is new for this month. As I always do, I'm going to start with things that I've already done separate dedicated review videos for and just give you updated thoughts. In addition, in the description box, I will put timestamps for this video for the different categories of things I'll talk about if you want to skip around. So the beginning of 2020, there was just this avalanche of new makeup, new collections, a lot of drugstore stuff. So it was very overwhelming and it's definitely died down. There are many fewer releases for collections and just individual makeup products. So in a sense, it's kind of nice to have a break from that. On the other hand, there's just not a lot more to talk about in comparison to the beginning of the year. But there are two things that were released recently. One of them is from Huda Beauty. Those are the new Pastel Obsessions eyeshadow palettes. There are three of them. I swatch all the shades in all three palettes for you in the video linked in the upper right hand corner for you to check out if you want to see them in more detail. For my eye look today, I exclusively used shades from the Pastel Mint palette, which looks like this. And um, I think these are decent palettes but I really wasn't wowed by the quality of especially the mattes. The shimmering shades are very shimmery, very metallic, but at a lot of points I wanted there to be more underlying color. So overall I don't know that I can really sing the praises of these palettes. Um, if this is the kind of look that you do want to go for, then these may fit the bill for you, but I think overall, in terms of quality, I wasn't wowed by these. Something that I was really wowed by and I continue to be very impressed by are these new blushes from Alme. These are not going to be talked about a lot on YouTube. They're gonna be under the radar, but if you watch my channel, I really hope that you'll consider these and check these out. These are called the Healthy Hue Blushes. They come in four shades. I swatch all four of them. In this video, I am wearing the shade So Peachy, and as I've used these throughout the past several weeks, I just continue to be impressed by how smooth, how healthy they look on the skin. The color is a wonderful flush of color that looks natural, but is definitely apparent. It's not sheer or lacking in pigmentation. So I really am impressed by the formula for all four of the shades in this new line of blushes by Almy. Definitely go check these out if you're in the market for a drugstore blush. I can't believe those are the only two collections that I've done dedicated swatch review videos for, but I do also want to note that I did a video reviewing or giving my thoughts and warnings for Huda Beauty's new Wishful Enzyme scrub and giving you much more affordable alternatives to that scrub, that very problematic scrub. So if that's something that you would be interested in listening to, then I'll also link that in the upper right hand corner for you to check out. So staying in the category of makeup, but things that I have not done separate videos for, we have these two palettes from one of my favorite kind of independent or indie brands that I forgot to show you guys in last month's new beauty video. These are from Nomad Cosmetics and they've released these two quads or eyeshadow quads. This palette is called Encinitas and you have the long boards embossed on the pans there. You can see those up close. 
and this one is called Malibu. Again, with those really cute long boards embossed on the pans. I just really enjoy this company. I think that the owners are lovely. The creativity that goes into their palettes, I really appreciate. And of course the quality of their products. I will probably put these in a giveaway for viewers. I might keep one of them and then put the other one. I'm not sure, I haven't decided yet. But the other thing that I wanted to mention to you that is so cute and creative about these is on each palette, the long boards here are textured. They have like a wood kind of grit or texture to them. So, you know, it's just those little kinds of things, those little bonuses that are thoughtful and creative that make a brand and its products really special. So thank you to Nomad Cosmetics for sending these out and I really do hope that you guys check out their website and all of their great eyeshadow palettes that they have to offer. The lip color that I'm wearing in this video is from Clarins. It is one of their lip comfort oils intense and the packaging looks like this very cute this is in the shade zero two intense plum so you can see on my lips that it does have that very comforting more color in oil type of formula but it doesn't feel like an oil it doesn't feel oily on the skin it just feels very nourishing and hydrating and it has that kind of in between the world of an intense lip color and a more sheer blotted lip kind of finish to it so these are really cool in terms of formulation this is what the inside of the applicator looks like. And at first you would really think that this is gonna be like a liquid lip, but it, while having intense pigmentation, has a more sheer and um, fluid feel to the formula, which is really nice. And I also just wiped that off of my hand. You can see it has a nice staining effect too. So thank you to Clarence for sending this along and letting me test this out. And then we have two lip products that Avon sent along. One of them, I think I wore this in the Huda Beauty video uh, where I talk about the new Wishful Enzyme Cleanser. So this first product is one of their flat velvet lipsticks in the shade Rosé Pink. Interesting about these is the way that the applicator is shaped. It is kind of this oblong shaped applicator there, which can make it very convenient and easy to get a lot of surface area. The color itself is very pigmented. It has a powdery matte finish without being too drying on the lips. Um, but it's just, I think, gonna be more up to personal preference in terms of whether this shape really works for you. It is very convenient too because it is a twist up, so you don't have to sharpen this product at all. And then this product, which seems to be in collaboration with The Face Shop, which is a Korean beauty and uh, skincare brand. So that's really cool. This is the shade 06 Love Me Red. And this is one of their ink tattoo lip tints. So it's this super bold color here. And if you're familiar at all with the kind of liquid lipsticks from Korean brands, they are not like the liquid lipsticks that are super drying that you traditionally find with the American brands. Um, it is more like a liquid gel formula. It's super nourishing. It doesn't dry out the lips at all. This particular um, shade and formula, it's not like a completely opaque layer of color. It does have a decent amount of transfer resistance and you get that huge advantage of not having those pruny dried out lips with this very gentle and nicely worn formula. All right, let's move on to skincare, which I have been testing out more of compared to makeup this past month. The first thing I wanna show you is something that C.O. Bigelow sent along. It is so freaking adorable and cute. But in addition, these are really, really nice products. This is a trio of their lip salves. And not only is the packaging itself adorable, but the product itself is great too. And the formulation, mm, this is the rose salve. And these are very versatile versatile too. Of course, many people use them as kind of nourishing balms or covers for the lips, uh, for the skin on the lips, but the salve formula can be used in lots of different ways. You can uh, put them on your cuticles for dry cuticles or to alleviate hangnails or, you know, skin that's kind of peeling off in that area. You can use it on the elbows for dry elbows. You can even put them on the feet, although I would 
try to not put them on your feet and then dip in and put it on other parts of your body because that's just gross. But really anywhere that needs a layer of protective nourishment um, to combat dryness or flakiness, these are really, really great for that purpose. Here is the lavender one. Oh my gosh. I absolutely love the scent of lavender and the scent on this is absolutely divine. Love, love, love that one. And this one, which is new to me, which is the Sakura Rose. Oh, this is more like a, smells like more like a candy, um, candy rose scent. So all of these are cute by themselves, but in particular, if you wanted an adorable, um, very versatile gift set to give someone, you know, sometimes it's hard to give people cosmetics because you don't know what their skin tone is. You don't know what colors they prefer, but something like this is still in the world of cosmetics and beauty, but it's super versatile and usable by all kinds of people with all kinds of preferences with all kinds of skin types and skin tones so this this is a very cool um very easy gift to give someone that almost anyone would appreciate and there is also another set of products that i received from co bigelow that you'll see at the end of the video um, but for both of these things or if you want to purchase anything from the co bigelow website they are kind enough to in addition offer my viewers a special 10 percent discount code so that if you are going to purchase anything you can get 10% off your order make sure you check the description box I will link the discount link for you there as well as the code to use the next skincare item is something that I showed a couple of videos ago and I just wanted to give you an update because I told you that I would be testing it out and that I might do a dedicated review video on it depending on what results I got. I'm not going to do that. I'm just gonna give you an update in this video and that is Dr. Brandt's Dark Spots No More Triple Acid Spot Minimizing Concentrate. It came in this bottle here. I have completely used this up. I used it twice a day until I had used up all of it in this bottle, which took a good month or more. This has 10% azelaic acid, 3% tranexamic acid, and 2% phytic acid. And I think it also has niacinamide, glycerin, plankton extract, a bunch of other antioxidants. So this formula is absolutely fantastic. And I will say that I did see results. Um, I didn't really put this all over the face, although I did, you know, I tried to more spot concentrate and treat um, sunspots and dark spots that I had on my face and in my decollete and neck area. And I did see results. They are subtle because you have to be doing this treatment for a long period of time. Um, and, you know, unless you're going to do a laser treatment, usually you cannot get super drastic results in reducing pig hyperpigmentation or discoloration with a topical treatment like this. But I'll try to insert a couple of comparison videos from before and after here. Hopefully you can see the subtle difference. So along with my other skincare to help treat hyperpigmentation, um, I would continue using a bottle of this if I had another bottle. So definitely something if you have lighter uh, spots that you want to try to treat, I would definitely check this out. I think it could help you. Uh, but obviously if you have really dark pigmentation or voluminous dark spots, you're going to have to go to a laser form of treatment in order to get rid of those or something like a chemical peel. A company called ORG Skincare also reached out to me. They sell just a handful of skincare products and they sent the main ones to me. So on this side here, we have the Mineral Peel Face and on this side, we have the Mineral Peel Body. So let's start with the product for the body. It comes in a uh, pump dispensing bottle like this, which I think is unique. And it also is kind of nice because if you're someone who has has, um, a little less mobility if you have problems, for example, reaching your back, um, either the upper back or the lower back, or just any sort of limitations in terms of how much you can reach. This is nice to have because then you can spray and access places on the body that you may not be able to otherwise. It's also, of course, really nice and travel friendly. Now, the directions for this are interesting. It says to spray and to let it absorb for just a few seconds. And then using your fingertips 
or some sort of gentle washcloth to exfoliate in circular motions and then to rinse with warm water and repeat if necessary. And this is made in South Korea, which I also think is really cool. So this treatment is kind of unique. You don't see, or I feel like we don't see a lot of these kinds of treatments or exfoliating products on the market. Now, when we look at the ingredients here, it starts with water and glycerin, nice and hydrating. You also have aloe leaf extract, nice and calming, cucumber extract, grapefruit extract, all things that are nice plant antioxidants for the skin. Then we have retinol. We know that's something that is key to helping anti-age, although because it's not gonna be on the skin for very long, it probably won't have a dramatic effect from the retinol on your skin. We have oat, um, which helps to, again, calm the skin. You have a fermented uh, rice ferment ingredient. You have other milk filtrates and milk ferment uh, type of ingredients, quinoa ferment extract. So you have a lot of these fermented uh, or ferment ferment based ingredients in there to help that um, exfoliation process. You have folic acid. Then more towards the ends of the ingredients list, you have rose flower oil, rosewood oil, grapefruit seed extract. Those are types of ingredients that I would otherwise try to avoid because they can be irritating to the skin. But again, since this is the kind of thing that you're not going to leave on the skin, you're supposed to wash it off. I'm not as worried about the risk of irritation with those ingredients. And we finish out the ingredients with ascorbic acid um, and with sodium citrate and a couple of other ingredients. So I am going to use this. I haven't been able to actually start testing this out, but I'm definitely going to start testing this out and see what kind of results I get with this. And if there's anything of note, anything dramatic, either good or bad, um, I don't think there should be anything bad just because the ingredients seem to be pretty good, but any dramatic or notable results, I will definitely check back in with you and update you and let you know. Back in, I think January's What's New in Beauty video, I also mentioned that Good Molecules had reached out and wanted to send a grouping of some of their skincare products and that I was pleasantly surprised by that because I had done a comparison between Good Molecules and was it The Ordinary? I think it was The Ordinary, and that for a lot of them, I either thought that Good Molecules was just as good as the other brand, or that there were things that were better about the other brand. So I was really, um, it was nice to have Good Molecules reach out still and say, hey, we believe in these products, we want you to test them out. Now, I still wouldn't recommend all of these, but there are several of them that I have continued to test and that I do really like. I'm gonna start with the one that impressed me the most because I didn't really have very high expectations for this product. This is their silicone free priming moisturizer. It comes in a pump dispensing bottle like this. And it says it's formulated with shea butter, macadamia seed oil, plant derived silicone alternatives to deeply hydrate, smooth and nourish the skin. And you know what? I think it does exactly what it says. This primer is not, it doesn't feel like other very silicone-y uh, primers out there but it does give you that smoothing effect while also giving you the uh, benefits of a more traditional moisturizer. So this is a really nice hybrid type of formula. I think that if you have truly dry skin underneath this product, you're gonna have to go with something that actually goes into the skin and moisturizes it. This one sits a little bit more on top of the skin like you would expect from a moisturizer or from a primer. Um, but people, especially with more oily skin or combination skin, I think you're gonna love this as a daytime moisturizer. Two products that I think are worth taking a look at. These are some of their oils. On the left here is the Pure Cold Pressed Rosehip Seed Oil, and on the right you have your Squalane Oil. So for both of these products, there's just the one ingredient. It's either the plant-derived Squalane or it's the Rosehip Seed Oil. So both of these are great oils for the skin, um, and you should probably approach these and use these more as boosters or additives to your skincare. So they come in small bottles like this with a dropper. So just put a few drops into the moisturizer that you would otherwise be putting on your skin. Their niacinamide brightening toner, I've also been enjoying using. Um, 
Nowadays, I use toners by putting them actually in my hand and patting them across the skin, whereas I used to use a cotton pad, but I feel like that absorbs a lot of product and you may as well be putting it on your skin directly instead of just having it sit in a cotton pad. Um, but this is a lovely toner too, and I feel like there is a definitely a kind of hydrating quality to this. Obviously, the niacinamide is really nice for um, your pores and your skin, but this has a good amount of glycerin in it in addition to the niacinamide, you get some ascorbic acid in here, cocoa seed extract, um, you get some ferment filtrate, licorice root extract, which is fantastic for the skin, and um, several other really nice ingredients in this toner. And last up is the Daily Brightening Serum. This is actually pretty much like, like a gel. I don't, it's not a thick kind of more oily type of serum like you would think traditionally of serum, which I personally really like because that makes it more versatile for my skin, which is oily combination because I can use this in the daytime or at nighttime if I want to. And this is nice too. It does have effective brightening ingredients. It has arbutin, it has glycerin, it has hyaluronic acid. So this is a lovely, um, very affordable, product. Also, all of Good Molecules' products are very affordable. This is not, I, I, it's not as impressive to me because it doesn't have um, a robust number of great skincare ingredients, but it's definitely not damaging to the skin. So um, still a good product to consider, especially for the price. And then I also had the company Volition reach out to me. This is another skincare company that you can purchase products from through Sephora, I believe. Um, and I don't think I had ever used anything from the line before. So I was very excited to get to test out many of the products that they sent along from their line. Now, again, I don't love all of these. There are some criticisms that I have of some of the products and then other ones that I absolutely love. So let's start out with a couple that I probably wouldn't purchase myself. Um, I'm gonna start with the Celery Green Cream. First of all, this comes in like jar packaging. And in terms of ingredients, there are lots of great ingredients in this cream. For example, you have a good amount of glycerin, you have celery seed extract, green tea, cucumber fruit extract, apple, soybean, raspberry. So lots of great ingredients but then you also have things like sage leaf extract, you have lavender flower. So those things are potentially irritating to the skin. They're more fragrant and more volatile ingredients. So that's why overall, I probably would not purchase this one. Otherwise, if it weren't sent to me and it wouldn't be one of my top recommendations. They also sent along the apple cider vinegar resurfacing peel pads. I know these kinds of things are pretty popular. Um, um, these have AHA in them and you get 30 pads in this pack. So the second ingredient here is witch hazel, which I know a lot of people like as a more natural kind of toner, but it's really not the best thing to put all over your skin, especially in such a high concentration. The third ingredient is glycolic acid, which is fantastic. That's the driving ingredient to help the resurfacing and really exfoliate the skin and make it look brighter. So that's great. But you have, in addition to the good ingredients like coconut water and apple fruit extract, you have problematic things like the lemon fruit extract, orange fruit orange fruit extract and you have a little bit of alcohol denatured. It's not a ton of it, it's the third to last ingredient, but in combination with the other things, when you have something that's already a chemical exfoliant, like the glycolic acid, which you have a huge amount in here, which is good, but if you're gonna do that to the skin, adding on the fragrant um, and volatile ingredients like the lemon peel extract, the orange fruit extract, and the alcohol, the denatured alcohol, that combination of things really is a, uh, is a potentially very, very irritating, um, just overly potent combination of things to be putting on the skin. So that's why personally I wouldn't use this specific product. And just one more product that I wouldn't recommend. This is the Turmeric Brightening Polish for face and body. It comes in a tube like this. Now turmeric can potentially be a good ingredient for the skin. Um, and this starts as the first ingredient with glycerin, but the problem is is that this has the walnut shell powder in it, which hopefully you know by now is very abrasive on the skin, but not abrasive in a uniform or gentle way. It can create little micro tears in the skin. So it's not something that you want to be rubbing all over your face in particular, or even your body. But there are also products from the brand that I really, really like and have enjoyed. So this first product is the 
baobab toning essence and it comes in a kit like this so you get these really large cotton rounds in here and what I love about the cotton rounds that they're giving you, they give you four, but these are reusable. So that's really nice to have a company that is investing in having less waste and giving you something that you can wash and reuse. Now, like I told you, I've tended to, in recent months, just use toners in my hand and put them on my face. And that's kind of how I've used this one. Although this one is unique because they have it in a spray dispenser. So it's not just an open uh, toner container like most toners. This one you may actually want to use on the cotton round because it's in a spray form. Um, but in any case, this is a great toner and it has great ingredients. For example, water and glycerin are the first two. You get the baobab extract, you get green tea leaf powder, ascorbic acid, seawater, you have a little bit of rosa centifolia flower water, bamboo leaf extract, saffron flower extract, lentil fruit extract, watermelon fruit extract, apple fruit extract. So a lot of good um, ingredients in this toner. Then you have the strawberry sea serum, comes in a frosted bottle like this and you get that soft strawberry peachy type of color which is really really pretty comes with a drop dispenser again it says serum but it's not oily or thick like your traditional serum it's more like a gel really sinks into the skin lovely to put on the skin and great ingredients cucumber fruit water glycerin strawberry seed extract strawberry fruit extract you get a lot of that vitamin c based extracts in this product and Finally, to round out the great products, the Snow Mushroom Water Serum. Comes in a bottle like this, where it's also a dispenser, but you press the top. Um, and again, wonderful ingredients in here. Mushroom extract is the very first ingredient, which is great. Argon, kernel oil, glycerin, watermelon, apple, lentil fruit extract, ascorbic acid, um, just a ton of great ingredients. I don't see anything that is harmful or irritating in the ingredients list. And once again, not your traditional serum thick formula or oily at all. It's more like a gel that sinks into the skin. So thank you to both Volition and Good Molecules for letting me sample a good number of things that you offer in your brand. And then we have a beauty supplement. So this is a brand that I've talked about in videos before with their other products. They have one of my all time favorite protein powders that not only has protein in it, but has things that are good for your gut health, um, other really good antioxidants for the skin. It's just jam packed with fantastic ingredients. So I was excited to test this product out, which is the Time Capsule. It is a nutraceutical and it is supposed to help with the anti-aging and the appearance of your skin. It is jam packed with antioxidants. It's also supposed to help boost the collagen production in your skin. And I'm just gonna read off some of the great ingredients, including marine collagen. There is an, an amino acid blend that includes leucine, ginseng root powder. There's a fish oil complex in here, turmeric. There's hyaluronic acid. And of course you get your more traditional uh, supplements, vitamin A, a, C, D, E, K, um, folate, vitamin B12, biotin, calcium, iodine, zinc, selenium, and manganese. So you're supposed to take two of these, preferably with uh, food if possible, although I just usually take it with water, and you get 60 total tablets in here for what would work out to be a month's supply. And the last thing that I have to show you that certainly not least, I'm very excited to unbox this. This is a bath set from C.O. Bigelow, and they also sent a very nice card along. This is the Aqua Melis uh, collection from their bath line. Look at that beautiful wrapping and packaging. Oh my gosh. This is so stunning. This kind of like old school apothecary feel type of packaging and design is something that I really, really love. So the first thing here is their body wash. They also have a hand cream, a body lotion, and a hand wash. The scent is actually quite masculine. It's slightly cologne-y, I would say, which I personally love. 
I tend to um, lean towards more clean smelling and slightly masculine scents um, for my body care. And then obviously this is a lovely set and duo to have in like your guest bathroom so that your guests can wash their hands and then in the same scent use the um, lotion for their hands. And then this is a nice product to pop into your purse and take along with you. Just look at that design. I love the simplicity, but that old school apothecary feel. So thank you so much to CO Bigelow for sending over this lovely set. They have these products in different scents also. So if you wanted something that was maybe not as masculine, you wanted a different kind of feel, they have those options for you on their website. All right, so that's what's new in beauty for March 2020. I hope that this gave you a little bit of comfort and maybe distraction. Um, please stay safe. Please stay considerate of other people. Really try to reduce the amount that you're out in public for the next, you know, probably couple weeks, maybe three weeks or so. Even if you are a healthy individual, you know, it's important to not expose other people who may have compromised immune systems or maybe older, um, because those people, you know, don't have possibly the same capacity as you may to fight off whatever um, infection they may have or whatever viruses. So stay safe for yourself, stay safe for other people. Um, but at the, on the other hand, I hope that you don't get too gloomy <laughs> by reducing your social contacts and all that kind of stuff. So hopefully this video was not only enjoyable, but maybe helped lift your spirits a little bit if you are feeling a little bit down because of the times that we're going through now. So take care of yourself. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for taking time out of your day to watch it. And I'll see you in the next one. We've got a lot of decluttering videos coming up, which also is perfect for if you're stuck at home um, being quarantined or self-quarantining. Um, so make sure you stay tuned for those and watch those too. All right, I'll see you in future videos. Bye.